Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And this is today's lesson. I don't remember the name of the tangle. And I did it in my Tangle um, A Day book. for the, And I did it across the all three days. I just did it all at once. And um, so I'm going to teach you this tangle, but if anyone knows the name of this tangle, I would love that you would, um, you know, message me, put it in the comments or whatever if you know the name of this. And I was going to do it on brown, but I better do it on white. I think I decided I was going to do it on a bookmark. I think it will be really fun on a bookmark. So we just start out with your pen. And I've got an 05 here. And it really, I'm going to try it with the 05. And I'm just going to give myself two lines. Then I'm going to go a halfway between those two and draw another line. And then I'm going to grid it off in pretty large. And I'd like them to be square, but you know what? They're not going to be. They are just going to be what they are. So my idea is to have four four and four for this particular pattern. And now I'm going to draw a very large, and I call it a cat eye shape, starting from the center of that grid so that they end up in the center. So you're going to come again to this side and you're going to come so that 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 shape ends in the center and this one's kind of narrow and it's going to be a little bit harder to do the design in because it's narrow so you want to make sure that it's really exaggerated Okay, and now I'm going to come in a little closer so you can see this. And now we're going to take and we're going to draw an S shape, dividing that up. So I started right there in the center. Each one of these are going to get an S shape in them. And you can see I kind of go down the line and then come over and down the line again. I really want that exaggerated also. And now we have those S shapes in everything. Ooh, I hope I wasn't off camera. I'm terrible about that. Okay, now we're going to draw, we're going to aura. Starting from the fat end, you can see this is the narrow end, this is the fat end. We're going to aura this shape and make kind of a leaf shape. And then I'm just going to color it in. from the fat end and that was that if so you can see why they need to be pretty big and then we go from the fat end and color that in it's a great grid pattern that has a organic look to it when you're finished From the wide end or up and then come back down. Doing that you get a nice little leaf shape without having to try to draw that leaf shape in there. So from the wide end
and I didn't think that was very straight so I'm going to come back and fill that in and I can do that. This is my tangle. I can do anything I want. And got one more on this one. Always aura in and then filling in. And then we're going to do the same on all of these other ones from the white end and you can see I didn't really or very close so I could come back and fill that in or and back down I've done this before where I haven't filled in right away and I don't know it I just find it much better if I fill it in right away and I don't lose track of what I'm doing We don't want to go from the narrow end, we want to come up here from the fat end. And this one's a little got a little bit different shape to it, but that's okay. We, if we go from the fat end, even though this little piece is a little sliver in there, you still get the look you want. So you can see how putting that in from the wide end or a up. I'm getting some notifications on my watch and it keeps beeping. But this just makes a beautiful border tangle or you can make it just a standalone. Just do one section. And I've even done it as a free-handed one without the grid and liked it really well. And then we're going to round these little corners. So anywhere where that grid is, we're just going to round those corners. It just really uh, adds a little bit to this tangle. Even in the center, I'm going to round all those corners.
now you can come in and you can add orbs if you want. Of course you knew I was going to add orbs. And we're going to add a little shading, and I'm going to shade with a um, my cool gray um, Prismacolor pencil, and I'm just going to add a little gray right in here. And the reason I'm using this instead of graphite is if I use this as a bookmark, I don't want any of the graphite rubbing off in my book. And graphite can tend to do that and just have little smudges. And so if you use a Prisma pencil, and then we will take um, some odorless paint thinner, and I've got it in a little a little paint pot here, and I'm just going to wet my um, shading stump, and then I'm just going to blend that gray out. I just really like how that blends out and it's not going to um, smudge on my if I when I put this in a book especially if I give it to somebody I would feel really bad that that it would smudge but you can see how that just really shades beautifully and we can continue to go and add more um, orbs or um, do a little bit more fill in. Oh, that's a green pen. I set my pen down. There it is. So I can add my orbs. And an another thing I like to do is different sizes of orbs so that it, can, it gives it variety so that they. Um, just diminish or you know just different sizes. I try to be random but it's really hard to be random because we tend to fall into pattern. But I like doing just random um, orbs also. And sometimes I like to come back in and just color that little space in between the turstices. I never say that right. So those little spaces that are in between, it's fun to fill those in. It just gives drama to your, your tangle pattern. But there we have a beautiful bookmark. And... But I can't remember the name of the tangle. So, I'm going to be really positive. And I'm going to say someone's going to know that name of the tangle. And in my Tangle a Day book, I put, You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. And that was my in my Tangle a Day book. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every three days hopefully or when I get around to posting I'm bad but I'm my my goal is to be more consistent so thanks for watching thanks for your support and have a great day